guys, David one 212, and it's Bad Deck Idea Thursday. I haven't done one of these in a while because, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to keep the amount of videos I'm doing a week down a little bit so that my hands can recover because it looks like the surgery that I had on them is actually working, so I'm, I'm trying to keep it easy on them, not do a full, you know, nine hour day at work and then, you know, come home and, and beat my hands up a little bit more. So I've been trying to keep back, but, uh, I really want to get this video out, so you guys are getting a treat, you're getting two videos in this week. You might even be getting a third one uh, tomorrow for mail day, depends if I get mail. If I don't get mail, you guys won't see that. Uh, so send me mail, it's in the thingy, if you want to, well obviously you wouldn't get here by tomorrow. And please, don't super expedite it so it does, that's a waste of money, I'll just do it next week, but just so you know. Uh, but now, today's a special, special video, because this bad duck idea is not really my own, uh, I had a hand in making it, uh, it was at least maybe let's say 33 percent my idea it was kind of a group effort uh when i was in rochester uh, upstate new york for uh how's this guy's saying this sound good i don't even know uh for thanksgiving i was uh it's a, like a six hour drive so it took a little while to get home and took a little while to come back here to new york city so i decided that it'd be really cool that i can get on my discord and i could just open up a, a general voice chat and anyone who just happens to be around could stop in, pop in, say hi to me as I'm driving, and we could chat a little while because I'm you know in the middle of nowhere. It's like it's driving, you know, with two hours between directions on your GPS and things like that. So it was a nice little thing just to get on and get going. Uh, and this is what me and some of the guys on the Discord kind of were tossing around, and uh, my friend Kieran decided to compile the ideas and make the deck and get some replays for it so that you guys can enjoy the absolute monstrosity that is Zulkin Frogs. Remember when I made that video a little while back where I said uh, you never ever want to raise power ceiling at the expense of consistency because any deck that's worth playing right now, the power ceiling's perfectly fine. Raising it up and then making your deck full of bricks is a dumb and bad deck building exercise. However, uh, if you do throw deck building uh, theory out the window, you can do some stupid crap like this. And that stupid crap is Zulkin Frogs. Basically, you got your frog engine in here, you got your three swap, your three dupe, and your two Ronin Toten to make you all of your frog plays. You have your nimble engine in here because we are, uh, instead of doing paleos and making a slow roll control, we're just going to go for wombo combo explode, and no one explodes like nimbles. If you send nimble angler from the hand or deck to the graveyard, it summons two other nimbles from your deck, presumably one of your nimble beavers or your nimble mantas. Uh, but beaver, he has the added bonus that if he's normal summon, so if you draw him instead of the, instead of the nimble angler, he can tutor another nimble out of your deck, so he's like a, a cheesy rank two or link two play. And then uh, when Nimble Manta is sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, he summons as many other copies of himself from the deck. So if you can like blow him up with something uh, that I'll show you later, uh, he'll he'll spl explode even more. So you have you have a bunch of like play starters and extenders, which is the Nimble engine. And then obviously your Swap Frog discarding Nimble Angler is your Wombo Combo Uber Open because you can at the very least bury your Swap Frog's effect under Nimble Angler's effect. So if your opponent's got that annoying, uh, what do you call it? Ghost Ogre, which is every frog player's bane of their existence. <laughs> uh, you can at least save it from that. And then obviously if it goes through, you get a million monsters on board. So that's really cool. Your other things you got in here is your, your white Stingray. This is basically just another copy of uh, Swap Frog, except it's level four and it summons itself uh, at the discarding a water monster. It, it's just in here. Uh, as another two of it just to get things off the uh out of your hand and then you have your third major engine and that is your uh your your, your true king fathomer this is based uh at least uh loosely and i don't know if it was even based on or just kind of serendipitously also came to the same conclusion of uh, a deck that i had posted here a little while ago like a, a couple months back but uh basically you got your true king fathomer he's just another copy of Swap Frog at this point. But uh, if you discard, if you like, actually, if you destroy uh, like a like a Nimble Angler in your hand or like a Nimble Mantle on the field in order to summon this guy, you get Nimble Angler's effect, you get your Manager's effect, and then you can you just banish two cards that he hits the field when he's summoned. Most players don't know how to play against Fathomer because they're bad and they try to like 
you know, you, you ask them, like, activate Fathomer's effect response, and they're like, no, and you're like, okay, and then you banish their two back row, and they're like, oh, strike, and you're like, ah, oh, you can't do that. So you got your another extender here, and then you got your, 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 uh, Draco Phoenix is like your, your other option, just to kind of like, it's like, it's kind of a garnet, but it's kind of like, it gets you to this if uh, otherwise, and then you got your, your diagrams and your, uh, terraformings in order to push that engine along, as well as the one true king's return, because we might as well have a trap. Secret wombo combo, you can totally normal summon a do frog and pop it with diagram, do frog's effect will not miss timing, because the pop and search of diagram happens at the same time, it's both upon effect resolution, so, boop, you don't miss time with your do frog and get us, you can search that swap frog. It's not a great play, but... Uh, it's not, it's not awful. And you can obviously do the same thing with Nimble Manta if you really had to. So that, that, there's, there's some, there's some synergy there between those engines. But nah, but no. With those three engines alone, it would just be a Wombo Combo Nimble Frog, uh, True Kings deck. But nah, this is Beals Frogs. So we got the secret Uber Tech Death Frog in here. Level 5 Seaman Demon. Best card in the damn deck. Actually, it's a total garnet. But you can summon off a Swap Frog otherwise, or cheese it out of the graveyard or something. Can you cheese it out of the graveyard with this build? I don't. But uh, long story short, it's a level 5. You, you summon Quick Draw Synchron next to it. You can make, uh, you, you can make Ultimize Logan. Because he's a tuner. He's a non tuner. You also have your, uh, you also have your instant fusion in here and to go into the best card of 2016, <laughs> uh, uh, as well, if you, just as another way of getting to a, uh, uh, to a level five S tuner is the word I'm searching for. Making your ultimize Zulgan, uh, where is he? Which you then go into your crystal thing, crystal thing, crystal wing. Secret, secret next tier big think combo is that if you negate something with totally awesome and set it to your side of the field while well, you have Ultimize Zulkin on board and an open link zone, you can not only negate and then steal your opponent's garbage by the act of sending it to your field, you can also summon Crystal Wing or Moonlight Dragon from your extra deck to the field. That's the dream play. So this is the build that Kieran sent me. I also have my build of Zulkin Frogs, which is my kind of tweak of the deck in order to just kind of like, you know, make it to the way I would play it to kind of streamline a little bit. I got rid of the Stingrays. I didn't like them uh, to get it down to 40 cards. Otherwise the main deck is pretty much the same. I also added a uh, Panzer Dragon in here as a non-tuner level five. Cause every once in a while I was afraid that you'd get like, uh, you'd open like a uh, quick draw and uh, instant fusion. So now you have two tuners, which is kind of bogus. So you have, you have the non-tuner level five. Then I was like, oh wait, well, if you have quick draw and panzer, you could also stick Nova and Infinity in this deck and I'd be super broke, but that'll never happen. It's literally, this is, this is your uh, making the power ceiling higher for no reason play, but I, I just had to do it. <laughs> and then, uh, I, I also reduced the, the toad to make room for all those carbs. And then if this is the other crap that you can stick in here, if you could make the room, if you want to take this crap out, I'll, I'll accept him because you, you would need the other guys to play him. But you have your Thousand Hunters trick for spot removal, and then obviously you'd probably throw in a Link Karibo just to kind of go with him and his brother over here. And then you also have some interesting uh, targets for your uh, Crystal Wing, like Bielza, I guess would be another, Bielza, Bielza, I think it's actually, uh, this is another, the, for the record, I think he's pronounced Bielza, because this thing is Bielza Frog, like it's a pun, like Bielzebub, it's Bielza Frog, so I, I've always read this as Beals Frog, but I'm pretty sure it's Bielza Frog, side note, but yeah, this is other stuff you could cram in here if you didn't want to play the Nova cheese, but anyway, Replay time. All right, uh, I don't know. We're playing against uh, some crappy fortune lady magician girl deck swap. So uh, I, I actually haven't watched these. So this is I'm growing in this completely cold. Um, so don't expect my commentary to be very astute. It's gonna be like, wow. Whoa. Frankly, I, I just want to see this. And the Raijin is the non-tuner is a cute play too, I guess. Um, <laughs> I I don't know. I Raijin's got the, the acted bonus of being uh you could book a stuff. But I don't know. It, it's it's player preference, I suppose. Alrighty then. Wow, swap frog negate. What what broke? And the guy must have scooped. Thank you, Kieran, for sending me these replays. These are really awesome. And obviously these are I think he said that some of these were at like different uh what do you call it? Different life cycles of the deck. So we have like Psalm Strike and Surface in here, but I think he ended up dropping it because he said it was always kind of like not great. Ugh. Remember Grinder Golem? That's like a one card Link 4. It's really, really goofy. 
Probably why we never got Security Dragon, frankly. Because this is fun. This is sped up. Could you imagine actually doing this in like a real tournament? Ugh. What are we going to do against this board? I don't know, probably do something completely ridiculous, right? I actually don't know. This, this might be more of a standard just frogging. Who knows what this is? Service for that weird extension. Also, I feel like he could have made Toad. Did he misplay? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm like half paying attention. Impermanence! Good card. Solemn Strike. Look at that back row putting in work. Uh, I'm not sure. He said that the trap cards are really underperforming in the deck, which makes some sense because uh, it's a wombo combo deck. You really don't want trap cards. Is this just like make Toad and win because the other guy's out of resources? Probably. I could only assume. Also, this is like Dark Lords. This is like, draws a lot and plays beat sticks, and that's about all it does. Ooh, Moria of Greed. Look at all these cards that aren't even in the, in the profile. I guess this is a good uh, showcase of why you shouldn't play weird wombo crap in the deck, because it's like really strange to do that. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. So, see, now we're going to just blow, <laughs> blow them out of the water with this stupid board. It turned six, but uh, at least this board looks cool. This game state's also crazy. Did we watch this one? This looks like a more modern build of the deck, except for this stupid Solemn Strike. I think this is this is where the, we're putting in the Death Frogness, right? Yeah, there you go. Ooh, man, that Solemn Strike's performing a lot better than I would like to admit for a deck that's supposedly just a wombo combo deck. Now here's the moment where your opponent's gonna be like, what? And you play the Desperoc? <laughs> it doesn't make any damn sense. Ooh. Ah. Uh, and this is how you go even further beyond. Oh yeah. Nifty plays. Nifty plays! Although I'm pretty sure you could probably use that traffic ghost or something, so you can get like a link monster that's actually like a like a link three, so they can kind of uh, get this crap out of the way. I I think that'd be nice. I think this is the last one. This one's the rendition where it was running Trade Toad. That's uh, that's an interesting <laughs> interesting uh, tech choice. Oh, uh, this might this might be the this might be the womb. I'm not sure. No, it's not, because there is a wombo combo with summon sources. I think I figured it out. Um, is Solemn Strike gonna win every one of these replays, Karen? You cheese ball. Shh, broke. Now that that was some cheese. Holy crap. <laughs> Just him from Boral Sword Dragon. <laughs> now, what is the Rocket guy going to do? Is this Rocket or Raid Rap? Raid Rappers. I don't even know how this deck works. It plays Ultimate Falcon and wins, right? I don't, I don't know. Why Strikes? Oh, I love that. That's cool. Do 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 doodle do. I hope this. I wonder how loud the actual like desktop audio is. Is this like super loud? I hope not. Because I have to re-record this whole video. That would really stink. I mean, this deck certainly just plays Toad still, like any other good, uh, what do you call it, frog deck. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, here's here's the, here's the cheese, right? Yeah, there he is. There you go. All right, I did it. I did it. He did it, or he did it. He he, he got the cheese play in. That's all I wanted to see. The cheese combo. 
So that was Zolka Frogs. I can't wait to hear Doug get all mad at this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the better will, I will see you guys next time. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine. Then it's time to duel.